webinar. We have a 30 minute webinar today focusing on Compass. Compass is our post migration optimization tool. Um, the presenter is Shafi Sayed, who is our CTO and Executive VP of Operations and co founder of Corin Technology. So I'm going to pass it to Shafi. Shafi, please go ahead. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Hi, this is uh, Shafi Syed uh, from Corrent. Uh, we'll get started in just about a minute. So welcome the audience. Uh, we're here to learn about uh, how you could use Compass. And let me share the agenda. So let's get started. Just want to let the audience know that this is being recorded uh, and you could request the recording and it'll be sent out to all the registered participants as well. Uh, what we are going to see today uh, is an overview of Compass, the continuous cloud optimization platform from Corin. You're also going to see how you can actually offer uh, the different capabilities of Compass as uh, your own cloud managed services. Uh, and also we'll be discussing how you could get started and then we'll have time towards the end for question and answers. So before we get started, just wanted to introduce uh, what Corin does. We offer a platform. It is the end-to-end -end technology platform uh, to take you through the cloud transformation journey. Uh, it starts with scanning and assessment of your on-prem environment uh, and tools to help you create a plan of how you can migrate to the cloud. Uh, and with this, it is integrated with the migration tool that helps you with the lift and shift to the cloud. And at the same time, you can make decisions whether you want to optimize your on-prem environment and your applications to something better, uh, more cloud-centric that can be deployed in the cloud. Uh, in addition, we also offer tools that can actually help you move applications directly to past services. There's more in the range of what we call as pacify and also containerization uh, in case you desire to do so. Now, as you move these applications to the cloud, we also offer tools that some of the application that you might have, you want to offer uh, as a transactable application from cloud marketplaces. So we have a marketizer as a tool that you can actually link your applications directly onto the marketplace uh, and start transacting. We also offer the capability to self-provision the application. So what we call as a SaaS enabling the applications by adding multi-tenancy to the app. At the same time, uh, ability to offer uh, these applications as a service to your end customers. Now, in addition, we have the tool that when you move to the cloud, what do you do in terms of optimization, modernization, how you manage the cloud environment on a continuous basis, and that is what is Compass, and that will be the focus of uh, today's presentation. Now, just a few pieces of information. We are a Microsoft Gold partner. And we also have the advanced migration competency with AWS. We work very closely with the cloud providers. And the way we've structured our platform uh, into three uh, tool categories. So one is the migration and modernization as a service, which is MASS. And the other one that we're going to look at today is Compass, which is for continuous optimization of the cloud resources. And finally, the SaaS operations. Now, all these are available as a service that you can actually take and offer that to your end customers. Now, we talk to a lot of managed services customers, system integrators who are actually offering managed services. Uh, and what we found was everyone uh, want to get to the cloud, want to offer their services on the cloud uh, for their end customers because they see a trend of uh, many of their clients moving to the cloud and they need a solid management platform. Not only that, it also should reflect their brand more or less could be uh, white labeled or rebranded that they can position as their own platform uh, for the cloud. Now, when you look at this platform, there are three components to it. So one is the continuous optimization, which actually gives a continuous revenue stream for the service provider. And in turn, you can actually offer about 30% cost savings. You not only can do uh, 
cost optimization on the cloud resources for your customers, but at the same time also offer the performance optimization as well. Now this has to be uh, in a mode that you can automate with ease. At the same time, you have to have some kind of workflow integrations and we hear quite a lot about service now that actually needs to be integrated as part of the workflow. Now, the on the other hand, you would actually look at this platform also should offer cloud management capabilities such as governance, security, provisioning of the resources, uh, and also uh, cost budgetings and alerts that are actually required to uh, keep tab on what the spending is for the cloud. Now, in addition, uh, some of the capabilities, advanced capabilities that you require is the chargeback showback where you can actually change the cost uh, and offer a different cost structure of the cloud resources to your customers. And what they see and what you present to them is something that should be part of this platform as well. Uh, and finally, uh, most of them don't want to just get locked onto these capabilities, but want to see uh, if this platform could extend to add more services, more capabilities, things that they can offer add additional add-on values, such as modernization containers, task services, or any serverless capability in terms of the app services, uh, including uh, anything that they have with respect to the SaaS operations. So is it possible to kind of add these capabilities and the platform has to be extendable uh, as an add-on capability to offer more services. Now, taking this into consideration, uh, so we have uh, put together the Compass uh, platform, uh, which encapsulates all these ideas that we have gathered from managed service providers uh, to uh, provide to you uh, an application aware platform uh, that not only manages the cloud resources, but gives you an application centric view in terms of the real time telemetry and visualization of applications and, and cloud resources. In addition, it is built in with the cost and performance optimizations. Now, when you do that, it is not just uh, advisories that you actually present, which are actionable, but you have to tie actions to it. So that with a click, you should be able to execute those actions. Starting with uh, cost savings, about 30% that you can offer to all your customers. And also visibility across multiple clouds. So you have customers who have different clouds and you want to integrate them and also multiple accounts uh, from different clouds that you want to manage simultaneously. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the advisories must be linked to action, so you don't have to go to another tool to execute actions, it has to be linked directly. And at the same time, any management aspects and advisories towards managing these customers should also be available. And then uh, the ability to extend or go beyond just the infrastructure onto management, the management of the applications. Now you can deliver these uh, collective services that are there, the collective capabilities and features and functions directly to your end customers as a new service if you're targeting ISVs and enterprises. Now you can utilize the continuous optimization and modernization as a service that is available in Compass for your company as a direct managed services. And you can create subscriptions or, or provision your customers that they can actually provision themselves uh, and uh, they can onboard or you can onboard your customers for this particular capability. Now, if you so desire, we can connect these services directly to the cloud marketplace as well, where you can create subscriptions directly and then now bring in customers from AWS or Azure marketplace uh, and then add them to your list of customers and then deliver these new age uh, cloud optimization and modernization as a service. Now, we are here to guide you. We not only provide uh, the support for our platform uh, for you, uh, and at the same time, we provide training to train your staff uh, so that you're up to speed and able to manage uh, all by yourself. In addition, we could be your extended uh, support team. So we offer uh, factory services, which could be utilized to help your customers uh, do the scanning of their environment, uh, particularly their cloud, any reporting and management of their cloud resources could also be done and any material that you need, we can actually provide that for your customers as well. So you could consider this to be an extended organization of yours uh, to help you add additional services capability. Now, when you get started, you get a service provider dashboard. So this is what you get in and uh, it is structured in a way that you can see all your customers all in one pane. You can actually drill down to every customer that you have or look at the collective view 
of the customers of how much cost savings you are providing, how many advisories there are there and in which areas these advisories are, uh, and also uh, the list of customers that, that you can see as a single dashboard. Now, in addition, you can list your customers and you should be in a position to select a particular customer and uh, directly switch context to that customer as well. Uh, and also you should have the ability to provision any new customer on the fly uh, and then onboard them automatically. When you are selecting a customer and want to help them, uh, it is a, a single click away that you can select a customer and then switch directly onto their dashboard and then start helping them with their cloud optimization uh, and management of uh, their cloud resources. Now, this makes it very easy for you to onboard customers uh, and also have a complete view of the resources, the complete view of what you are actually offering as a service to your customers, but at the same time, uh, switching the context to any customer and then helping them uh, with a single click is something that is uh, extremely important and we have that as part of our platform. In addition to that, when you switch context to your customers, you can select the different cloud accounts and we provide a very comprehensive immersive visualization to navigate the cloud. So you can navigate the cloud in 3D at the same time, if you wish, you can look at it in two dimensional as well. So this gives you a view of all the cloud resources for any account that you add in and want to assess, analyze, come up with a mechanism to actually show the cost savings or any performance improvements uh, for your customers. And this can be done on a continuous basis. And you can access this tool on the fly at any time to look at the real time data that is actually available. Now, when you switch to optimizing the different cloud accounts for your customer. For each customer, you actually get a dashboard, a single pane in which you get details about all the cloud resources that are there. Uh, and this gives a collective view. And at the same time, you can drill down to specific uh, portlet, whether it is the, the CPU or allocations, a different VM flavor, storage network, any of those, it has an advisory as well as complete details. So when you click on the advisory, what you see is the list that actually would help you optimize and actually gives you what the proposed cost savings are. Now, as you drill down, you should be in a position to see what exactly those resources are so that you get a better view of what you can do with it. And then now there are actions associated with it, such as change the flavor to save cost or shut them down or, or any of the action that is being suggested, you should be able to execute right there, select and then confirm uh, to make it happen. Now, all this is available for pretty much every resource that is there on the cloud that you can actually optimize, follow the advisories, or if you choose not to execute them, you also have a mechanism to snooze them. Uh, now, another interesting aspect that uh, you use for managing resources on the cloud is the ability to tag. Some customers have already tagged, but they cannot see what those tags are easily or as you're managing them, you need to tag them so that you are able to group those resources and come up with a mechanism. So we offer a very comprehensive resource tagging mechanism uh, that is available as part of the platform. Not only do you see what is out there, but you are in a position to go change or add new tags uh, to effectively manage the resources. Now, another aspect that you want to see is, uh, as a service provider, you may want to change uh, how you want to present uh, the cost data to your customers. In some cases, uh, you may want to have uh, an, an additional margin over the uh, cost of the cloud resources. So you could come up with your own custom catalog and that, and these costs that you add within the custom catalog will be matched against the existing resources. And then, and then the cost is uh, shown to the customers. Uh, you will see the view of the actual cost, whereas your customers will see the cost of what you have added into uh, the catalog uh, and optimize the resources based on the catalog costs. Now, this is something very interesting, particularly on a showback or a chargeback model uh, that service providers would utilize uh, and then present to their end customers. Now, as you look at uh, the different aspects you know, of the cloud resources for your client accounts, 
now you not only are doing cost optimization, but also at the same time looking at the performance trends and want to optimize based on performance as well. Now, when you do that, we have uh, the, an engine that actually looks at uh, the performance uh, of those resources. And it actually gives you a two sigma, a statistical analysis up to what level the resources are being used particularly whether they are overutilized or underutilized. You actually get this heat map that you can actually see. Now, you can choose uh, to select any of the resource and actually look at the data over a month uh, and across 24 hours of how the, this particular resource has performed. And you can come up with your own decisions to say, well, I can not only optimize performance, but at the same time, uh, reduce cost as well by coming up with a trend rules uh, that you want to shut down during the weekends or during uh, the night time, and then come up with mechanism that you can actually see how you would be able to utilize uh, in, in a systematic manner that it is automatic uh, and more or less in the form of a bot that actually goes and takes care of optimization just based on the trends of how these resources are utilized. Now, this gives you additional cost savings uh, and also uh, makes things extremely efficient as you actually manage for your customers. Now, you can bring in more services going beyond just optimizing, going beyond the management of the cloud resources, provisioning them. Now, you should slowly start bringing in uh, the future tools through the platform that is available to you, uh, such as uh, looking at uh, an application landscape of uh, is it possible to auto group the applications so that uh, you can present to your customer the view of applications rather than just VMs or network resources or storage? Uh, and this application view uh, could actually give you the aggregated resource data as well as a, a real-time telemetry. And then now you are going into the realms of an application-centric view of what is out there on the cloud. Now, this also gives you the ability to come up with mechanism, how you manage the deployments, how you uh, do the workflow around managing applications on the cloud, starting with blueprints and deployments, uh, and all the way to coming up with mechanisms to suggest to your customers how they can modernize applications on the cloud, uh, such as we want to head down the container route uh, towards Kubernetes service or towards past services. You can offer all these capabilities by integrating them and then sh uh, showing them the, the future of what they can actually do, uh, additional services uh, that you can actually set up as your additional revenue streams. Now, when you look at the aggregated application telemetry, you group the applications. Now you actually see not only resources, now different deployments, you can actually get to all the details and at the same time, see if an application on the whole could be optimized and how it can be optimized and then present it to your customers. So. If there are multiple applications, you can actually look at each and every application and then presents its collective view. At the same time, also any advanced optimization that you can actually do in terms of security or in terms of the utilization statistics, you can actually provide that to your customer as well. In addition to any modernization capability that you want to bring to the table uh, for uh, additional work or additional capability that you can actually set your team uh, to offer services to your clients. Now, you get a very comprehensive uh, blueprint library management capability as well to actually uh, manage applications, do the deployment, uh, more in the realms of uh, how you automatically extract blueprints, view those blueprints and manage them, uh, or you can actually create uh, new deployments based on newer blueprints where you can deploy in different regions or on different clouds, more as a multi-cloud environment. Now, we also offer, as you work through uh, the different uh, workflows with your customers, you require uh, an orchestration. Then we offer integration with ServiceNow, where through Compass, you should be able to connect to your client's accounts. And then any change that you make, you should be able to pick those advisories and then create an incident report that is actually serviced within the ServiceNow environment by your customers. So here, you have a mechanism where you get an agreement with the customer and you perform the tasks uh, in conjunction with the approval uh, and the workflow already established by your customers uh, with you as a service provider to actually execute those actions. So once things are approved, 
within ServiceNow, they are automatically connected to Compass and executed uh, to make the changes happen within the environment. So as simple as the, once the account is created, then set up, then any incident that actually comes in uh, would be uh, service within uh, the service now environment, uh, triaged and approved. And once it is done, the incident is actually routed back to Compass and then the action is executed. Now, from what you have seen, there are multiple capabilities as part of the platform, all the way from governance uh, and the ability to do a continuous cloud optimization and cloud management. Uh, and based on the platform that you can actually extend additional services, now you can actually use these as your service delivery platform, uh, that you can utilize these services and then make it available to your customers. Uh, the, in terms of new cloud services, and this actually gives you additional revenue uh, opportunity for you uh, to create new streams. Now, in addition, we also offer the ability to to connect these to cloud marketplace that you can actually start provisioning customers through uh, AWS or Azure cloud marketplaces and then bring them in as your new customers. Now, you can start immediately uh, and uh, you can actually use uh, the uh, ID here, compass at corentech.com to actually start working with, with your customers. Now, at this point, I would stop here uh, and uh, take questions uh, for question and answers. Uh, so here uh, we have Sean, who uh, uh, is going to be leading and, and checking if there are questions and uh, how we can actually uh, address those questions. Uh, please please feel free to type your questions into the chat window that we, uh, we will address. Thanks, Shafi. Again, I'll encourage everyone to type in the questions in the chat box. We have one question, uh, Shafi. What are your differentiators uh, compared to your competitors? Yes, so this is a very interesting question. Uh, there are tools that are available with the cloud providers. They offer this uh, in different pieces. There are they are available at different screens. So one of the biggest advantage or the differentiator that we have is to bring all this information about the cloud onto one single place. Not just that, uh, bringing it from multiple clouds onto the same platform uh, that you can readily see. Now, from a managed services provider, you should be in a position to provision customers and then access the information across all customers to make decisions and to help them. That is something that we provide, which is a major differentiator. And the third being uh, an application-centric uh, view, which is something that is very unique. We don't see anybody offering this. Uh, every tool out there that is available only focuses on the uh, resources uh, at the IIS level, just the VMs or the uh, storage, the network, or uh, the different structures that are available, but not on the application as such. So now we bring this application perspective by grouping, and then now you can actually start making decisions on resources that are associated with the application in terms of cost optimization or uh, for uh, enhancing its performance or modernization. Thanks, Shafi. Uh, another question, and I'm going to answer this one. What is your cost? And we basically uh, did some research uh, um, uh, on costs, and we had three objectives. One was to come up with costing that's very easy to understand. The second uh, um, criteria was we wanted it to be very competitive and really a lot more cost effective than our competitors. And the third criteria was we wanted it to be a small fraction of the savings that we provide. Based on that, we've come up with pricing that's based on the customer's number of cloud accounts or subscription accounts, starts as a monthly fee, and then the number uh, start, it starts at $75 per account, and the number drops the higher the number of your total accounts are. So if you have uh, uh, a lot of customers with a lot of accounts, you'll end up paying a lot less money. Another question here, uh, what does the onboarding process and timeline look like for adopting this platform as a new tool? Um, 
generally when uh, a new managed services company uh, comes in we can provision them in less than a day uh, generally uh, within a day or two we should be able to provision them and then they can get started by offering these services but more of the time most of the time is actually spent on uh, learning what the tool is we actually provide training to them and that should be incorporated as part of the startup process and once you know and then also we provide the, not only the training material, but also collateral that they can actually use uh, to go and present to their customers or come up with a go-to-market plan uh, to get to their customers and then present to them these new capabilities. So uh, what I take is it should be uh, within a day or two, you should be in a position to get started. But as you work through the entire process, uh, uh, probably about a week, you should be able to offer this as a new service to your clients. Thanks, Shafi. Another question about contact information. I know you had it on one of your slides, uh, compass.quarantech.com. Can you flash that screen again, just so that uh, our friends can see it? It's uh, compass, C-O-M-P-A-A-S, at quarantech.com. Uh, and uh, we're gonna show it in, in, in about a second. There we go. Compass at quarantech.com. Thank you, Shafi. Um, one more question. Um, uh, can we, can we uh, also use your other tools? I know, Shafi, you showed Maz and uh, SaaS Ops. Um, I can answer that. The answer is absolutely yes. We have some clients who use just one tool. We have some clients who use two out of the three, and we have a few who actually use all three. So by all means, uh, uh, you're not limited to just Compass. Uh, given the audience, uh, Compass is probably the one you want to start with, but all, uh, all three products are uh, available, um, and we'd be very happy to talk about uh, getting you engaged. Uh, I don't see any other questions. So last call for questions. Otherwise, we're going to finish a little bit early and uh, we'll thank everyone for their time. Uh, questions going once, going twice, going three times. I don't see any more questions. So with that, we thank all of you for your time. A recording of this session will be sent to all of you. And by all means, uh, email us with any comments or questions, and we hope that we'll have an opportunity to partner with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining this webinar. Bye.